all right, I just wanted to, from a perspective of myself, I'm an ex-atheist, just talk about just the dangers and the irrationality of atheism. Okay, so like I said, I'm an ex-atheist. I was an atheist for most of my early teens. And, you know, by God's grace, he saved me out of the sci-fi communist uh, religion of atheism. And I just wanted to just briefly say some things about the dangers of atheism and also just the irrationality of it. So first of all, I want to point out that when I was an atheist, I was actually depressed. You know, and it wasn't until Jesus Christ saved me that I began to have actual real joy. Because there, there really is no joy in atheism when you really get down to it. Now, there could be some exceptions to the rule. I'm not denying that. But when I was an atheist, I can just say that atheism honestly made me depressed quite a while. Because here, here's the thing. You know, regardless of what religion you believe in, you could believe in, in a satanic uh, cult like Roman Catholicism or Islam. But when you feel down, when you have problems, what, what happens is subconsciously and mentally and psychologically... You, you're not truly alone because you believe you have, you know, for the Muslims, they'll pray to their Arabian moon idol of Allah. You know, for the Catholics, they'll pray to their uh, Babylonian goddess of the Virgin Mary. You know, uh, and despite the fact that Roman Catholicism and Islam are satanic cults, they do have a higher power they believe they can pray to. And in that sense, psychologically and subconsciously, they're not truly alone. But if you're an atheist, if you have problems, if let's just say you're abandoned, in your mind, you truly are all alone. You have nobody except yourself. It's that simple. And when I was an atheist, that was exactly what I was thinking. It's that simple. I, I mean, in my mind, I was thinking I have nobody. All I have is just me and my miserable, you know, body, essentially. And, and, and even if you're in Christianity, we believe in the human is composed of body, soul, and spirit. But even if you're, if you're an atheist, you're just a chunk of flesh. So you really got nobody. That's, that's the simple fact of the matter. And when I was an atheist, I was depressed. And, you know, I was going down a dark path, a pretty violent and dark path. And that's the fruit of atheism for you. You know, there's a reason why all the communist religions and everything like that, all the communists, because whenever they get down to it, communism is a religion. It, 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 they, it acts just like a religion. They have a holy book. They got the, the manifestos, which is like their holy books, and it's rooted in atheism. And when you get down to the fact of the matter, I've been saying that quite a lot, but there's a, a lot of, of issues to cover, is that atheism, uh, the fruit of atheism is on full display in North Korea. You know, because North Korea, they have state enforced atheism and it's illegal to criticize atheism over there. It's you, if you practice anything other than atheism, you're going to get you're going to go to jail. You're going to get persecuted. That's the fruit of atheism. That, that's what happens when you have when you don't have church state separation. I'll be covering also the fact of how uh, state enforced atheism is uh, against church state separation. I've covered that in other videos before, but the dangers of atheism is just simply the fact that it can cause depression because when you're truly alone, in, uh, in your mind, you're truly alone, you know, but when you have, even if you're a Hindu, a Muslim, or a Catholic, or whatever, you have some kind of a deity you can pray to, and so, like I said, you're not truly alone. I know, I know I'm repeating myself, but that I want to just hammer on that point. So atheism is psychologically bad for you, and also just the irrationality of it as well, of how you can go out in nature. I mean, just simply go out in nature and look at all the just amazing, vast uh, scenery, look at all the, the vast, diverse species of, of uh organisms and everything yeah you know and do you think oh it just came you know like what essentially what atheism says is that humans came from algae which morphed into frogs or whatever i mean i used to know evolution a lot i just don't really care about it anymore because it's a bunch of uh, garbage so just the irrationality of it as you go and, and just go out in nature look at all the vast organisms all the vast uh, diverse ecosystem and you think oh it all just came from nothing because if you believe in the big bang you're essentially saying something came from nothing it's ridiculous. So I wanted to just point that out, just the dangers and irra irrationality of atheism. Uh, it's insanity. So don't be deceived by atheism, as I was for my early, most of my early teens. So yeah, take it from me, an ex-atheist, an ex a former atheist who uh, God saved from his grace. Uh, by his grace, I'll put it that way. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.